Today's scripture is 2 Timothy 2.19, which says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. There's a lot packed into that one verse. First of all, it says that our foundation is sure if it is founded in God. And this is a seal of that foundation that the Lord knows them that are his. That's a very encouraging word today to understand that if we are God's, that he knows us. If we are a born-again believer, the Lord knows who we are. He knows us individually, and he knows us personally. And that's quite an amazing thought within itself, that God knows me, he knows my trials, he knows my situations, and he knows everything there is to know about me. Therefore, he knows exactly how to help me in my hours of need. Now, this verse closes with a pretty awesome challenge. And this is something that our society is overlooking much of the time in today's culture. It says, let everyone that nameth the name of Christ. What that means is you've declared that Jesus is your Savior and that Christ is the person you're living for. If that is so, this verse then tells us that we need to depart from iniquity. That word iniquity simply means sin. Whoo, that's quite a thought right there that if we are proclaiming to be believers and that Christ is our Lord and Savior, then we need to walk away from sin. There's way too many professing Christians out there that live open lifestyles of sin. This verse tells us that if we're going to declare Jesus as our Lord and Savior, then we need to straighten up our act. Then we need to depart from sinful lifestyles. This one's going to be a challenge for a lot of people, but that is what the Bible says. I'm Pastor John, creating community by sharing scripture. God bless. Go tell the world, go tell the world it's not a story.